Hi everyone, it's Kara, and I wanted to take just a couple minutes to talk to you about this book. Some of you may have already seen it, may already have it, but if you don't, I just wanted to kind of mention it to you guys because I really like it. It is Draw Your Day, An Inspiring Guide to Keeping a Sketch Journal by Samantha Dion Baker. Now I picked mine up uh, in Barnes & Noble. Of course you can order it online and all that jazz, but I did go to the store and um, I actually got really lucky and found it there. Now the book itself is about seven by eight inches as far as measurements goes. You can see kind of how thick it is, but it is a great portable size if that's something that you're looking for. And I don't remember how many pages it has. Let's see, it has about 138 or so pages. And it really is all about how the author keeps a sketch journal. Now, I usually buy these type of art books for a couple reasons. One being the obvious that I'm hoping to learn something from them, get, you know, some little tidbit from them. And the second being that I just really like to um, support artists and see their art and be able to like have it in my hands and look at it. And this is just an example of one page that she drew. Um, and I have to tell you, I have a lot of what we'll call art books or art technique books, I guess maybe would be more accurate. And this is the only one that I remember literally sitting down and actually reading cover to cover. I liked it that much. The other ones I have, I will read sections of, um, or maybe the whole thing over a long period of time. But this one, I, I think I read like cover to cover um, in a relatively short period of time, and I just absolutely love it. There is plenty of good advice in here and lots of wonderful art um, to look at. I do want to just show you the table of contents so you can see it. That's what it looks like. And I just can't um, recommend this book enough. Now, if you're someone who's already very, very artistic, very, very skilled, I don't know that this would necessarily be the book for you. Um, but you're, if you're an intermediate or beginner, somewhere in that range, I think this would be great. Now, along with this, I want to mention, I also picked up a uh, pocket palette that the author did in coordination with... Um, Maria who creates these pocket palettes. Now I do have one right here that you've seen before which I recently found out was not one of the pocket palettes made by Maria although for some reason I thought it was um, and I wanted to pick up another one so when I saw that they had collaborated and and uh, came up, come up with this one I decided to get it. You can see there is the logo on there and this came with um, all of these little samples. These are, I believe, Daniel Smith watercolors of the palette that um, the author really likes to use in her sketch journal. Now, I've already put a lot of this into my journal because I like to keep little odds and ends, but this came with it. And you can see right there what colors are included. Okay, now I intend to add a whole bunch of other little ones that I have right here from a, another uh, watercolor maker, but I did want to just show this to you as it came before I did that. I want to say that I do think this one, um, in comparison to the first one I have, is a higher quality. There's some features on here that I really like, one of them being that the um, lid has a side to it, the other one doesn't. I really like that. And um, this one has a smaller, what I'm gonna call like a lip um, right here. My other one has more curved um, corners, which actually eats into a lot of the space um, for the watercolor pan that you put in here. Now, obviously you can fit different little sizes of watercolor pans. A lot of uh, places are now going to these little metal, um, let me show you one these little metal palettes, like so. So you can pick them up, um, you know, with 
paint um, from another watercolor maker if you want. And then Maria also does sell empties of these little palettes, sorry, little paint pans, um, should you want to uh, fill them up with your own colors. I think, if I remember correctly, um, Brie, who is the Documented Journey, also has recently received one of these. I think she has the black one, which is also really pretty. Um, but if you want to, I will try to put a link down to Brie's video as well, so you can check out the black one, because I really can't say enough about this little portable palette. It is a really wonderful size, and as you can see, Right now, it already contains um, 14 colors, if I am seeing this correctly, and I can put another 14 in here if I want to use these small ones. So that's a lot of different colors to be able to take around with you, which I think is a great thing. So I wanted to give a shout out to both um, the author of Draw Your Day, again, Samantha Dion Baker, and um, this wonderful pocket palette. Um, I will put a link down below to um, the uh, arttoolkit.com so you can check out Maria's stuff. Um, I will try and also link um, Samantha's um, Instagram account because I do follow her there as well as the one for Maria uh, in case you guys are interested. I do want to emphasize just before I end this video this is in no way sponsored. I paid for these things myself. I just really really like them and wanted to give a shout out to both of these talented women. If you have any questions for me please leave them down below and as always guys thanks so much for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody.